Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today I had to look at my phone to remember what we were talking about. We are discussing the NFT that is going to drop on September 10th, 2024 for the Cartoon Network Digital Packs. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. So Cartoon Network and Funko are joining forces with the Droppo and they are going to give a slew of cool Funko Pops out from the Cartoon Network era. Now they are not going all the way back from the beginning. They're kind of starting and picking and choosing wherever the hell they really wanted to. But there are a couple fan favorites that we need to talk about. So far I have looked some information up on here and it is 19,500 single packs. Jeez, and how many uh, premium packs? 17,500. This is a huge increase from the recent numbers that they had, like the Rick and Morty ones. I know they definitely had at least like one third of that amount, and like maybe the Transformers one, they had one third amount, and the, uh, what was it, the spooky, scary WB Monster Mash ones, they had a limited amount. This is crazy. This is a huge amount of Funko Pop uh, chances, uh, chances, Funko Pop chances. This is a large amount of packs, so the scenario of you maybe getting a Legendary or a Grout may be extremely low. I don't know the ratios and shit like that, but let's look into the physical collectibles that you could obtain. And they're actually pretty freaking banging. Uh, so the first one that they have is, from Courage a Cowardly Dog, Eustace Bag with the mask on his face, you know, when he scares a... Uh, Courage, he goes, ooga, 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 and he pops on that little crazy mask that kind of looks like one of the Majora masks from uh, The Legend of Zelda, you know, that Link has to go and find and put him on, do his little thing, do his little flute john. Looks pretty cool. Um, this is probably one of the awesome Funko Pops that are dropping from this physical collection set, and just trying to squint my eyes, it is a 999 count. So it is very limited, and I don't know, this might be like an Uber one that they have. It doesn't look like it's a normal one. It looks like there's an Uber one they've been throwing in, uh, basically like a special one. So I'm going to just say that's a special one. I used this bag with the mask on Courage the Cowardly Dog. Pretty cool. I'm going to give this a thumbs up. That's right, I'm going to give an ups and downs right after them. So let's continue on. The next one we have is another cool freaking Funko Pop. It's from the Cartoon Network series. Space Ghost Coast to Coast, and it is Moltar. Moltar's looking good. He's very simplistic. He's got the red and the black, and he talks like this. And he was great. He was basically the dude who ran the video production team uh, over at Space Ghost Coast to Coast. You know, Zorak was the dude on the piano. He was the band. And then you had Moltar, who did the stuff in the back. And he is a, trying to look here, he is a 1,900-piece count. So, I don't even know. Is this a... I can't even read it. They're, the stickers are in gray, so I really can't see what they are. Uh, let me see. I'm going to try to flip this over. It is a legendary. Moltar is a legendary. And Courage is the Grail. So, Eustace Baggage from Courage is the Grail. And Moltar, of course, from Space Ghost Coast to Coast. He is going to get an up, And he is a legendary. All right, now the next two that I discuss, I'm not really happy about the choices that they made because they had these Funko Pops come out with a prior, a prior set and uh, nah, I just wasn't a big fan. Plus, these Funko Pops, or I'm sorry, this genre or these characters, they're not even really from the early days of Cartoon Network where I really feel they were trying to hit home with. So this is Ashi from, uh, what's it called? Samurai Jack. This is the uh, one girl who was the clone of all the other girls that was, what's his face is, um, I don't know, who was he trying to fight Samurai Jack? He was trying to fight the demon dude, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, one of his daughters, he fell in love with her, by moon bada ing, you want to go find out the story, you go ahead. It wasn't a happy ending just to throw it out there, but it's a Samurai Jack character, it's a legendary. She is a 1,900 as well, because she is a legendary. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys, this is like from a recent like 2020 something, 2022, 2023. So I'm going to have to give that shit a down. That is a big down on 8 Minutes with Aaron for Ashi. Sorry, Samurai Jack, your ass out of here. 
And since we are talking about Samurai Jack, let's just jump to the other legendary that is a Samurai Jack Funko Pop, which is himself, Samurai Jack. Now, this Funko Pop is pretty sick. He has some damaged. He's got some blood. He's got some cuts on him. Of course, I'm going to show you the pick in the corner. This Samurai Jack, I would say, I right, let's keep it. Let's keep it. It looks cool. This one, I would acknowledge as being an okay one. Not the Ashi, but this one, yeah. Samurai Jack, you, my friend, are getting it. Oh, that's right. You are getting it. Oh. I like the character. I like the damage. I, You know that when every time I get a Naruto one and there's like scuff marks on it, I think it's really cool. Samurai Jack, you are a legendary as well. And you are a... Wow, okay. He is an ultra. He is an ultra. That's the ultra one I was trying to talk about, which is a special one. And it is a 5,000 count, meaning there's a large percentage chance that you might get this bad boy opposed to, you know, getting the legendaries or the grail. Crazy, right? So Samurai Jack, check them bags. Make sure you're looking because you could get that guy. All right, the next one we have to talk about is an amazing Funko Pop, which looks so banging and cool. They should have actually thrown in another character from this show, and it is Dexter's Lab. That's right, it is Dexter's Laboratory. I would have loved it if they maybe threw in uh, Dexter, gave him a little French look, and gave him the omelette du fromage, even though he was in the classic Dexter uh, uniform, the science gear and, and stuff like that. I was still dug in omelette du fromage. Now, this Funko Pop that they're throwing out, and you've seen the picture up here, it ain't no uh, regular Dexter. It is Dexter when he put on the robot gear to fight all those other bad guys, and it was pretty sweet. He, and then at the end, you know, Didi, of course, blew it up. It was really simple. Like, oh, what's this bundle? Didi, no! Blew it up. Um, but this is Robodex 2000, and it is a husky-ass Funko Pop, hands down. And I do like this one. Now, this, I believe, is a legendary. And it is a 1,900 count. All right. And this bad boy is also getting an up. That's right. He is getting an up. Dexter's Lab Funko Pops. That's definitely getting an up. And finally, we have to discuss the one and only Grail. I'm sorry. This is the redeemable, the redemption, the redeemable redemption. If you get all the cards, you collect them all, you get this Funko Pop. And it is. I'm just going to tell you how much it is first. It's a royalty card. There is 2,400. And it is Freddy Funko. And everyone's been asking as Plank. Well, I guess it's what? Acting as the dude who has Plank. I can't remember that dude's name. But yeah, it's Ed and Eddie. And he's got Plank. And I can't remember the dude's name. What is, you know, the guy who actually holds Plank on the show. But Freddy Funko with Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't know how many Ed, Ed and Eddie Funko Pops they have out. This may be the first one from the brand, so everyone's probably going to go crazy trying to collect them all. Maybe that is why there are so many packs and so many, you know, singles and premiums because everyone's, or they're expecting that people are going to want this Freddy Funko because it's probably like one on one, you know? No other Red N and A Funko Pops, right? So this one is definitely getting an up, but it is also getting it down because I'm sure it's going to be difficult and very expensive to get all the cards to receive this Funko Pop. So overall, Cartoon Network, I believe you got all ups and one down. So you are getting an up for this NFT drop -o. I will try to get it. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes there, and I will see you next time when we go for more stuff, more things, and hey, maybe I'll tell you whether I got some or not. See you later. Bye.